Yes, sit inside. Elvis looked a real threat since coming on. Cordova in space, and he's going to get onto this breaking down that right side. Juan Cordova inside the area. Cuts inside. And that's a good save by. So Canada just looking to see this out to halftime as Mark Anthony Kay intervenes there. And here's Juan Cordova. Still Juan Cordova. That was a good strike. Cordova does well there. He's inside the area. Just over hits that cross. Oh. And here is Kevin Alleman. Working inside, finds Cordoba. He drives inside the area. Cordoba, back to Awua. Hamilton looking for some support down the right side, and here's Cordoba. Alleman making a run down the middle. Here is Alleman, but it's just... Here's Kenny J. Elva. Cordova, chance to cross. Cordova seems to be the man on these set pieces for Canada. It's a decent ball into the box, good area. Bounces inside the area. What to take for Canada. Cordova, it's hit deep to the back post, and that was a that defender away. Uh, Cordova, sorry, hits that. A bit too long, but it's back in place. The well sting has just been taken out of this early Qatari attack. The back once again. This is Mazid. Tidally one back there by Cordova. Sends it upfield. Looking for Kanija Elva. Decent strike there by Mazid, but didn't get through. Mazid back on the ball now. That was a dangerous tackle there, but Juan Cordova seems to have got away with it right in front of the referee. You probably heard the calls from the Qatari. Kevin Allen looks set to come in for Canada shortly. Here's Patrick Missick, halftime substitute for Canada. That was a good time. I won't claim to know a lot about this Uzbeki under 23 side, if you could forgive me. But as mentioned, they did start with a 3 1 in Uzbekistan, get underway for the second half. half. One change to report for Canada it's Patrick Missick here. Octavio Zambrano will be feeling pleased with the scoreline. This is the diminutive Juan Cordova. Very talented young player. He is from Chile originally, but family connections to Canada give him the right to represent Canada. And speaking to him during the week, what the big grand ones will look like when 2022 rolls around. You, you do see driving around the city. There are some magnificent structures going up. No question about that. And, they said they would deliver amazing. That was their tagline for 20. Let's also apologize and say I was given some bad information. Jordan Schweitzer plays for Orlando City B. I said he played for Swope Park Rangers. That's not the case. Bit of play there from Mawua under some pressure. And here's Cordova with a chance to break for Canada. Petrasso, can he get on the end of this? He's coming forward. It's a collision in the box. There's Juan Cordova once more. Schweik. Nice flick there from Cordova. Awua's header. Louis Belon Goyet to Juan Cordova and back to Awua. 
Sends it cross field to find Didic. And here's Cordova. Cordova showed flashes in training yesterday of his, his quick feet and his pace, so having troubled Ergashev Botirali too much in goal for Uzbekistan, but that was a decent effort from Michael Petrasso. 